We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we take our seats? Welcoming ourselves. Just turn to somebody next to you and tell the person you're welcome to the first service. Wonderful. For some time now, I've not been preaching. I've been talking. And this morning, I'm also going to talk and then we pray. And then we are out of here. Can I hear an amen? amen. I realize that a lot of Christians complain. And our complaint is very simple. I've served God all this while. And look at my life. I've prayed. I've done this all this while. And... Sometimes we, we go complaining, talking, then we go as far as saying that even other people are very bad than us, but yet they succeed. And the more I think about these things, the more I have to. You talk to people about your questions, why I ask God about why it is so. And there is no question I've asked God that is not giving me an answer. Now, one thing we should all realize is that when it comes to God, even let me use the one you would understand, when it comes to the occult, the deeper you go, the deeper the, the money. So if you want to get money ritual and you go and sacrifice um, goat and sheep, it is not the same like sacrificing your mother or your father. Oh, it's not true. It's not the same. It's not the same result. Now, when it comes to God, and this evening I'll, I'll talk more about it, the deeper you go with God, the bigger the miracle. But going deeper with God is not as easy as we think because I think it's very easy for us to go with the devil. Very easy. Because God will not oppose you. But as soon as you make a decision to go with God, you are going to have an opposition. So, with God, there is an opponent. But with the devil, there is no opponent. Now, as you read the Bible, where the, the Israel prayed to God, God bring us deliverance, deliver us. And after praying for over 417 years in captivity, one day they get up and they see a human who is partly one of them and partly from Egypt, that is Moses. And he says, I met God. And he says, I should bring you out. Interestingly, the people who didn't believe more were the people he was sent to. But after Moses had done all the magic, I call it magic, because that's how the Egyptians saw it. Sometimes we need to look at things from the perspective of the world, not from our perspective. After the magic and all those things, Pharaoh now began to realize that there's something more with this Moses he knows. Because Moses was learned Acts 7.22 in the book of the Egyptians. In other words, he has learned the book of magic. Ninkromancy and sorcery. So, but they realized that the kind of things Moses was doing now, they can't do it. He brings a snake, they also bring a snake, but his snake swallows their snake. Actually, they do two. He does one. But his one overwhelms their two. One thing God will do in your life can take away all the sorrows of your life forever. One thing. Just one thing. Moving further, when Pharaoh realized that the things that Moses was doing very soon they would get out of Egypt, Give me NLT of um, 
Exodus chapter 8. Let's look at from verse number 25. You will see that Pharaoh calls Moses, man of God, head pastor of Bridge Ministries, pastor assigned to deliver these people from captivity. I want you to do me a favor. So Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and he said, all right, go ahead. Offer sacrifices to your God, he said, but do it here in this land. I'm going to show you why Christians get into a lot of attacks. Now, do you know one of the things the world criticizes us for is how big we give to God. Two things they complain about is our sacrifice and our time. And that was the exact thing Pharaoh complained about. He, first, he didn't want them to do the sacrifice. Now he said, do the sacrifice here. In other words, I want to show you where to put the offering. Give it to the poor. I want to show you where to put your tithe. Do it in this land. Not where the Bible says you should do it. Not what, where your God says you should offer it. But where me, Pharaoh, see, you can have a Christianity that is liberal, that has no God, being ruled by the system of the world, and that is not Christianity. This kind of system, you do what you want to do. You can serve God the way you want to serve God, no problem. But do it my way, not his way. So he says, just go... But do it in this land. But look at the answer of the pastor Moses and his associate pastor Aaron. 26. And Moses replied, that wouldn't be right. The Egyptian detests the sacrifice that we offer to the Lord our God. They don't like it. How much more if they see it? Look, if we offer our sacrifice here, the Egyptians can see us and they will stone us. No wonder they are stoning us. <laughs> they are stoning us or they are not stoning us they are how can somebody give to church one million dollars are you a fool why don't you open a factory they've not, they've not read this bible one million dollars is too small God, look at what Solomon did look at what David did look at what Abraham did there were people who were ready to sacrifice their own children for God. If somebody can find his only child to God, what would the person not do with his resources? So, Moses said, look, if you offer a sacrifice here, the Egyptians can see us and they will stone us. Now, a lot of the stoning and the criticisms and the attacks we are having from the world is because we have not learned, even as men of God, to keep our sacrifices just to God. But we want the world to see our sacrifices. But these people who go to the occult, they never come out to tell us what they have sacrificed. You will never see anybody say that I sacrificed my mother, my father, my best friend, my child. No, 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 no. no. All you see that they are swimming in their demonic well. Jesus said it. When you do go, don't let your left hand see it. Don't let your right hand see it. So people see our sacrifice. And next thing, let me tell you this. Unbelievers sacrifice than believers. If you tell a believer, lie at a cemetery for one day, a miracle will come for that day. Tell the unbeliever, lie naked and sleep with a mad woman at the cemetery for 21 days. You become rich. I can tell you that it will be done. Their sacrifice level is high. But again, I don't tell anybody. Sacrifice is something that is between you and your God. Well, interestingly, I watch TV sometimes and people come on public TV and they say, I'm cursing you in the cases that come in public don't work you you invoke other counter spirit 
people really want to finish you <laughs> see them in their in their room in the night and whatever they have they invoke it before you realize in the morning you are seeing the consequence then you go and do consultation will tell you that have you insulted some old woman <laughs> it's not that you are informed me that you start remembering say go and apologize so a lot of our, our, our sacrifices are the reason why we are under attack. So Moses being a good pastor said, we will not sacrifice in Egypt because if we do, they will stone us. Jesus even said, when you are fasting, clean your face so that nobody will see it. Why is your face like that? I'm fasting and I'm very tired. An unbeliever will, will go mad for three months, intentionally go to a village that he or she is not known and go mad. Behave mad. After some few minutes or few years, See that, you see that this person is rich. Before you know, this person is now a millionaire. He asks you why. Do you know what they say? Oh, it's by the grace of God. <laughs> How did you make it? Oh, it's by the grace of God. You see, if you trust God, everything will be okay. Where did you go? Oh, I've been, I've been, been in church. You see that I always come. As to what it is, they call it fraternity. Only me and you that are in the sacrifice that know everybody outside the sacrifice because any sacrifice you give to a deity, the world will never understand and the world will fight you. I tell people that when you are working for God and you say people ask you, Why are you going? Say, I'm going to church. They say you go to church too much. So sometimes you have to tell them I'm going to work. And you are not lying, you are working for God. Every day being in church is working for God. If the word hears that you go to, sometimes people feel like God, people who say they are doing God's work, all they do is to sleep, pray, and talk. Then they make money. Well, let me move on because I don't want to take bore you with this. So Moses said, We are not sacrificing here. Look, if you offer a sacrifice here, the Egyptians can see us, they will stone us. So for the next verse, verse 27. We must take a three-day trip into the wilderness to offer sacrifice to the Lord our God, just as he has commanded us. You see, Moses was simply saying that, Pharaoh, you can't dictate how we serve our God, where we serve our God, the process. And when Pharaoh realized that he can't stop them from sacrificing, number one. Number two, he can't determine where they sacrifice. The next thing he told Moses was more serious than the first. Let's read 28. All right, go ahead, Pharaoh replied. I will let you go into the wilderness to offer your sacrifice to the Lord your God. But don't go too far away. Now hurry up and pray for me. Because he was in trouble, he ended Moses' prayer. But he said, You go. Don't go too deep. The miracle is in the deep. He said, Don't go too far. Where is far? Be so close that any time I need you, I can get you. So many Christians have not gone far with God. They are just a step away from their unbelieving friends. What is far? You see the way he, Moses is um, very smart. He said, don't go too far. You just pray for me. So it's like, I believe in your God, you know. So you pray for me, but don't go too far. So you hear things like you are taking this Jesus thing too serious. You are taking this God thing too seriously. 
But people take football serious. Oh yeah, people take football serious. They play in the morning. Watch football during the day. Play in the evening. Oh, is it true? It's not true. Sometimes when I sit up there watching people, people come every day, football booths, walking, they are going to play football. And nobody tells them that you play football too much. Take your Bible. You are going to church every day. You are going to church too much. Or is it true? It's not true. People play football every evening. 365 days. Nobody complains. They say it is exercise. The apostle bodily exercise profited a little. That one, it gives only a little profit. Anytime you realize that anything you do is under constant criticism from the world, from the enemy, you should understand that that is the area that you must concentrate on because that is what is punishing them. You pray too much, you pray too long, and this evening I'll go deeper into one. I'll teach you that. Listen, I thought you, those of you came for leaders' meeting on Friday, one hour prayer does nothing to the believer, it's a waste of time, it's a killer of flesh. For you to move to the place where you succumb to God's will, it's after three hours. How? Look, it's easier said than done. Some two people came to Jesus with their mother. They brought an elderly person to come and talk to Jesus. That Jesus put me at your right side and my left side. Jesus looked at them and said, Are you able to drink the cup in which I drink from? Are you able to carry the cross I carry? If even you do that, it is up to my father to help you. No wonder. Somebody came to Jesus and said, I want to follow you. Jesus said, if you want to follow me, take up your cross and follow me. Jesus, now it is time to carry the cross. You can preach it right. You've preached it. Now you go to the garden of Gethsemane. You want God to change his mind. Are you not the same person who was preaching 10 steps to success? Practice it, let's see. Were well, you not know the one telling people how to serve God? Now you to serve it, let's see. This is God in man. He's not a human being. He's fighting God. God, I don't want to die. If it is your will, take it from me. If it is your will, take it from me. If it is your will, take it from me. He leaves the disciple. Now, people don't know this, but let me show you that in the Bible, it was three hours of simple prayer. If it is your will, take this cup from me. Let's, let me prove it to you. Take me to... Oh, Jesus. Matthew chapter 26, 39, 40, and 44. Matthew 26. For you to start comfortably walking in the will of God with no struggle is going deep three hours. He went on a little further and bowed his face. He was with his three disciples to the ground praying, my father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken from away. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Hold on. Now, you, are, you, are, you, Jesus, you are changing prayer topic. You are changing the topic, right? Why are you changing the topic? You knew from the foundation of the earth you have to drink this cup. So, give me the next one. Give me verse number 40. Then we jump to 44. Then he returned to the disciple and found him asleep. He said to Peter, couldn't you watch with me even an hour? It means that he had prayed one hour. One hour. After one hour, he still was still praying, Lord, 
If it is your will, take this cup of suffering from me. Because the first one hour is the killer of the flesh. Second hour is the negotiating of the spirit. Third hour is now that your spirit is accepting the will of God. So verse 44 will show you that he came to them a third time. Give me 44 because of time, please. So he went to pray a third time, saying the same thing again. A third time. So it's like he prays one hour, comes for support. They are sleeping in church. And those of you who came on Friday, I told you, 38 years in church, if you've not gotten a miracle, it's likely you came to church with a mattress. church with a mattress and Jesus will come and say take that mattress and go home the day you stop sleeping in church am I teaching here he went and turned out praying the same prayer again and by the time he finished with this third hour prayer he said not my will but your will angels came and fed him then he went to meet Judas and allowed Judas to kiss him. Allow the process to continue because at that stage he has accepted the will of God. Look, I can look at you and prophesy on you that you'll be great. I can look at you and tell you you are going to be a great man of God piloting planes with your own planes and go. You will sow a seed. You will give all that praise God. But let me tell you something very funny. You cannot get it until your system has been synchronized with a prophecy. And that synchronization is not that Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you have delivered me and you have given me a word that I will be. I know whatever you said has come to pass. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. It doesn't work like that. And that is why in the Bible <laughs> there was the whole compound of the world. But God said, this is my structure. The world is there. But if you come to me, you come to the outer court. Then from the outer court, you go to the inner court. Then from the inner court, now you come to the holies of holies. And that's why Jesus said in Matthew 14, 6 that I am the way. The way is the outer court. The truth is the inner court. And the holies of holies is the life. Many know the way but they don't know the truth. <laughs> They know the way. You know how to succeed, I know. You know all the principles of greatness. We all know you know. Even teach others, they make it. You know the way. But that way you know has not become your truth. You say it because you have learned it. You have been taught it. You believe it. But it has not become a part of you. It has not become it has not become part of your life. So he says, I'm your way, your truth, and your life. When it becomes your life, you live it. And at the altar court, there's a lot of sacrifices. The brazen lover. An animal has to die blood has to be sprinkled. But the inner court, you submit. You submit. In the holies of holies, you accept. what has happened to a lot of us is that we are in church 
and we are playing at the outer court. You say what? Where you meet God, you have questions for him. You will watch all those questions at the outer court. Actually, he has a question for you. He has a question for you. Why have you kept too long? The funny thing, I've taught you on this before, that even at the, through the book of Esther, if you read my book, Palace Protocol, Esther, you can enter the palace. Vashti, you can be angry and you are fired. But nobody will be with you again. You stay in the palace. Once the king has touched you, nobody can touch you. Many are just people who came to God as they are. God is not blessing them, but you can't go into the world. You are you day out of court. You are you have conscience, so you can't sin. You too are you can't succeed. Somebody says, I will buy you Mercedes Benz so that I'll sleep with you. Say, Me, if it's the one believer, why or team? But you two are the commitment to the things of God that you won't do. So you are torn in between inner court, outer court. You are standing there. You two are, you can't go to the world. You two are, you don't want to go deep. Satan said, Potiphar said, Pharaoh said, You can't go too far. Anytime you see that you are struggling with the will of God, you are prayerless. Please stop that five minutes thing you are praying and telling me that man of God, I pray. Stop it. If we read the Luke 22 version of the scripture, Jesus, this, this prayer he prayed, he prayed until there was no water in him. Sweat was out of him. Blood was not coming from his skin. That doesn't look like somebody who was praying a racist contemporary prayer. Tears had finished. Sweat had finished. Now it was blood that was oozing out of his body. Just to walk the will of God. And this is the son of God on earth. He wants the will of God. And he's praying three hours. You. Mami be foba. Human being like us. Who no angel announced our birth? <laughs> our mothers were not virgins. <laughs> we were shaping in sin and in sin that our mother conceived us. He has a father, you know. I know you've done it. You are God all by yourself. I thank you at you and say, oh, I wish you go deeper. I wish you take this thing serious. You've never touched the will of God if you've not prayed three hours. In the issue that you've not taken into God for three hours intensive, because divine encounters come after three hours. After three hours of taking that thing to God in prayer, nobody can convince you. Even his death on the cross, you will die because you know what you will get. But if you can't take yourself to three hours of prayer, what can you take yourself in? The disciples spent 50 days, how many days? In the upper room, praying for the Holy Spirit. 50 days. Not going anywhere. They didn't open their door to go anywhere. Even Jesus, when he wanted to visit them, he had to pass through the door. Because if you knock, they won't open. If you even knock their door, they were too afraid for their life that they won't open. It takes Jesus to walk through the wall and come and talk to them. Why? Because you are afraid of the world. At the inner, at the outer court, one of the first things God gives you is gift for service. You see, Jesus was God's gift. Is it true? For God so loved the world that He gave. So Jesus was God's gift. But that gift 
of God could never become useful until that gift had gone through Gethsemane. A man's gift makes room for him. Why has your gift not taken you anywhere? Jesus' gift of dying on a cross could have become useless if not for Gethsemane. Today, we celebrate him because of the decision at the garden. Many of us have become like Eve. We talk to the devil instead of talking to God. We talk to the devil. We spend hours binding. If we tell the believer today, deal with the witches in your house. Come and see prayer. Come and see sweating. They will pray. Tell them pray to submit to God's will. They will sleep right now. That means the devil enjoy that entertainment of binding him. He enjoys it. Because you can't. He's already bound. So when you are bound, he's looking at you. Continue. But you will never do what God wants you to do. Your gift is to make room. But the gift of God, which is the eternal life, the tree of life, the man needed that gift could never come to the fore until a man said, I don't care if my friends are not going to be with me in the prayer room. I don't care if they will sleep. I don't care if my assistant, Peter, will not pray. I don't care if he has a canal mind to use a knife. I'm submitting to the advice of the world. Lord, I know me and you have this agreement that this is what we will do, but now I'm changing my mind. I vow that if you give me this, I will give it to you. I vow that if you break me through, I will give you this. But now, Lord, it's becoming a tough decision for me. How do I solve this thing? So first, Peter, I don't think I can scratch my nose to the four from a seven. This is this Peter saying Peter talking. Now we didn't to eleven. First Peter. For your name is holy. Holy Lord. Seven. I wish tomorrow you will spend three hours praying. Yeah. And you are just praying that Lord, what is it you have for me? Especially my daughter, since tomorrow is your birthday. You spend that three hours saying, God, at this age of my life, what do you have for me? I just want to know what is there for me. Life becomes shorter when he shows you the way when the way becomes truth and the truth becomes your life now first peter 4 7 the end of the world is coming soon therefore be earnest and disciplined in your prayers it takes some kind of discipline not just discipline and earnest not human being called earnest it's called passion it's a drive. Passion is a drive. I wanted to learn how to play saxophone. Master, I bought it. I tried three weeks or three months. Me just to baby. I don't even know where it is. Master, I saw somebody play. It's a man of God. I am a fair. It's nice, but I don't have the passion. It's so good to look at somebody's life and say, "I'll have one." Jesus did it. I will do some. It's nice. That was Elijah was a man subject to lack passion. He prayed earnestly. Everybody has a passion, but your passion is what has given you what you have today. Whatever is your passion, you spend time on. Your passion. 
And Elijah, Elijah wanted to drive his passion. And the driver of passion was prayer. The end of the world is coming soon. So, if the world is coming soon, what has this got to do with you? What have you used the gift God gave you for? How will you account to God? Have you had a Gethsemane experience? Look, I don't want to go there now. Eight, please. Most importantly of all, continue to show deep love for each other. For love covers a multitude of sin. Multitude of sins. Love. When you see people condemning, criticizing, they don't have love. In the last days, the love of many shall was cold. They shall betray one another. Anytime you see betrayer, Somebody has run out of love. <laughs> In the time you see somebody betrays, nobody is good until they are, they are, they, your love is run out. When your love runs out, what you see is fault. And that is why God doesn't see us the way the devil sees us. Because God still loves us. But Satan has no love for us, so he sees our faults. When you see somebody you love, your wife cooks and there's so much salt. Your visitors are there. You tell your wife, today what? there's no salt at all. Bring me more salt. And it's ah, but there's so much salt in the food. So, me, I like salt. Oh. You put more in and eat it by force. When the visitor leaves, say, ah, my wife, today, dear, what happened to the salt? Say, ah, there was so much salt in there. You didn't taste it. Ah! Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Next time this man comes, no salt. Today, what happened? The doctor says, I should reduce my salt. When there's love. But when there's no love, you call your wife. Come here. Take this. Eat. Why do you like embarrassing me like that? Love covers. And one of the dry force that drove Jesus to the intercession for three hours was love. I'm teaching you, it was passion, earnestness, desire, love, giving you four things. Love is a driver. If you love your children, you want to give them the best, you work hard to pay their fees. You dress them when you've not dressed. I think I'm not teaching you well. You educate them even though you are not educated. I might teach you well. So verse 9. We are going to 11. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. This one. If you don't have love, you can't do it. This place is so broad, I can't assimilate it well today. You see, if you say you have a vision to feed the world, no problem. They pull around you, can you feed? You want to save the world, Rabbi? Have you saved around you? Jesus told them in Acts 1. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, shall be filled with power, and shall be my witness first in Jerusalem, then Judea, then the utmost parts of the world. As for you, you want the world. I know. God, when is the world starting? I want to be on social media. Everybody must know that I'm making it. You are not called. It starts from Jerusalem through Judea, 
Samaria. This Holy Spirit doesn't take you and bring you to the world. I was telling somebody, your first customers in business is family and friends. It's your family and friends that will make or break you. If you sew my dress and you are my family and the dress is expensive, I will tell you. If I wear it and it tears, I will tell you. I will insult you in addition. Is it true? true? Because family and friends are the one that molds your weakness. So that when you are presented to the world, you will not be with fault. And many of us have not even utilized what we are called to do for people who are around us. And we are looking at going to the world. I think I'm not teaching well, right? Or you are too quiet. Or the room is too hot. My office have something. Whenever I eat all my food, they complain. There's no, I'm angry with everybody. Because come what me, I'll leave some. My home like that. If you are an elderly person in the house, never finish your plate. It's not good. There are children in the house. Is it true? It's not true. They are hot. Oh, but they served me. Everybody has eaten. No, there are children in the house. Leave some for the plate washer. You know what you left in the plate? It is, it is not food. It is grace. What you left in the plate is not food. It's connectivity. It's reconnecting. It's bonding. is not food. Oh God. You guess why you are still in nowhere in your Christian life. You can't harness those who are around you. Somebody does your hair for you. You do somebody's hair. The person tells you the way you did it is not good. Then go and look for somebody else to do it for you. You wonder why nobody is coming to you. Because the one who told you the truth, you didn't like the person. The other people, they will not tell you anything. They will change you. Family and friends, they don't pay well. Because they teach and direct business. They are the one that will plead Reduce, 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 because. <laughs> and it is they who wear your dress, and when you are working in time, people say, Ah, who sold this? And they say, It's my sister. Then others will come and wear. Because nobody outside will wear your dress first. Can we go on? Verse 10. God has given each of you. Look at someone say it's for you. Read. Let's read. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Use them what? To do what? Read again. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety. There is no what in this world who does not have a gift to change the world but the problem is that we have the gift but Pharaoh wants us to offer it on the wrong altar number two. Pharaoh doesn't want us to go too far number three. We have not stayed in his presence long enough for the gift to be cooked for the world. There is no believer this is Peter who was talking The man who slept with Jesus in Gethsemane. He slept on Jesus. Now he has matured. He's talking about the discipline of prayer. The earnestness of prayer. 
I'll come back to verse 10, but give me verse 11, please. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. In other words, when you are operating the gift God has given you, see yourself like a God. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Now, back to verse 10. How can the gift become utilized? Friday, I was teaching about it. And I said, there are nine basic, there are more gifts. But the fundamental, the foundation, is the gift of speaking in tongues. Because that is what stirs up the gift. And I told you on Friday, Paul told Timothy, my son, according to the gift that you received by the laying on of my hands, stir them up. Stir them up. The gifts are stirred at Gethsemane. The gifts. Whether it is prophecy, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, administration, whatever gift you are called to offer on the earth, they are birthed at Gethsemane. Adam failed at Gethsemane. If Eve is talking to you, why don't you pray? Peter has spoken to Jesus. And this time Peter is Eve. When Peter said you should not die, it was Eve telling Adam, eat the tree, you will not die. The thing has eaten into Jesus. The worst were eating into him. But he takes it to his father back in prayer. And said, ah, take this cup of suffering from me. My wife has given me a cup to drink. Peter has given me a cup to drink. Let's not forget that Christ is the husband of the church and the church is the wife. And Peter was the head of the church. So Peter was the wife giving Jesus an advice. And Jesus, not like Adam, went on his knees. I have a gift for the world. I keep it. It's mine. I invest it. It's the wealth. I keep it. Only the people who are sleeping here will know I am called. I invest it. Empty Yali 2021 years later will still know about me. You are dying in your room with all the first Peter 4 10 in you the gifts are there but you don't want a Gethsemane experience where you must wake up when everybody's asleep let me say this God doesn't call everybody God doesn't need anybody God needs a man a man God called Abraham alone. Abraham alone. Most people who did great things for God did it alone. And they did it in the midst of people who were around them, who were supposed to help them, but they slept. Mordecai was ready to rise up if Esther was not ready. And told Esther, if you don't rise up, enlargement and deliverance, come watch me, it will come. But Esther, your name will be deleted from history. Like Vasti was deleted. Your name will be deleted from history. And Esther also did three days, three steps. It's like we will fast three days. And after that, by the third day of his fa her fast, there was no strength in her. The will of pride, of I am the queen, 
I am the this. Everybody knows me. I'm enjoying the palace. Departed. Now she has the will to make all Israel a nation freed. She also took the three steps. Jesus the way. Jesus the truth. Jesus the life. Now I want to ask you a question. How far have you gone with God? I'll continue in the evening. I enter the holy of holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor you. I, I, I will tell you to start speaking in tongues if you know how to speak in tongues. I want to say, what am I praying in tongues about? It's a simple thing. Oh, you just pray, Lord. I want to go that length with you. In the evening, I will teach you. The blood will lead you to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will lead you to Jesus. Jesus will lead you to God. If you are still in the place of forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. You've not started the journey. You've not even entered the inner court. You've not even entered that inner court yet. You are still operating with the blood. Lord, I worship you. I worship you. Lord, I worship you. I worship you. For your name is holy. For your name is holy. That's why I don't care if people who sleep around me. I don't care if nobody wants to support the vision. I don't care if anybody, even people I trust will not, are not ready to push me. Lord, if I have to go on my knees to spend three good hours with you in intercession. Holy Lord, for your name, for your name. I enter the holies. I enter the holy of holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you. I am not entering to have a discussion. No. The holies of holies, you don't speak. The holies of holies is only the heart that communicates. At the outer court, you use your mouth, ask. You use your mouth at the inner court. You don't talk, you seek. You seek. You seek. At the holies of holies, your body language, your attitude. At a place of prayer. There comes a place that your mouth says nothing. This mouth can't talk. 
I was like a dumb person. Zachariah, you can't talk again because if you keep talking, you spoil what you have to do. You are a priest. You've served God all your life and yet you are barren. Oh, Zachariah. Because you always talk. Now you can't talk again. Because at the holies of holies, you don't talk. You are not asleep and yet you don't talk. You are sitting down and tears are running your face and people don't understand why there is tears because at this place your heart is communicating give me the keyboard please you are not sleeping there is nothing coming from your mouth and yet there's tears sometimes there's a smile why because at that place you stopped asking at that place, he stops saying, God, will you give me this? No, 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 no. It is heart to heart. It is a heart moment. You have been synchronized to the Father. You know his heart. He knows your heart. And both hearts are talking. It goes beyond speaking in tongues then. At this stage, he's not speaking in tongues. No, 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 no. If you know how to speak in tongues, just begin to speak in tongues, please. Between now and 10 o'clock, we are praying. Between now and 10 o'clock is just praying it's just connectivity we are reconnecting there is a gift that the world is waiting for there is a breakthrough that the world is waiting for I read how many years Jesus spent on earth and how many days he spent in public. I was amazed. He didn't have time for public. When it comes to public, he's coming to change the system. He had time for privacy with his God and the people who were of importance to his mission. That was him. If you pray and you sleep, you pray, you are sleeping. Forget it. You are not still there yet. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be louder than what you are doing. The first one hour of prayer, most of is giddy giddy, is earnestness and passion. It comes from your belly. It comes from your belly. If you don't do the first hour, you would, you would, you will sleep in the holy of holies and you will die there. Because you have entered with flesh. You entered with a flesh, and no flesh can glory in his presence. Everybody pray. Now, can I have the part behind the thing? When I need you, come back. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. I only hear everybody praying. And it will be seen by this evening how you will get your miracle. I'm proving to you something that there is a way and Friday we demonstrated it people got healed people got delivered would anybody pray for them because they went fed out with God why do you pray and you have headache 
because a place in your spirit realm is opening you are opening a level in the spirit realm your spirit has been locked blocked so you're having this headache Peter goes Acts chapter 3 don't take me there sees a cripple after he has spent those 50 days in the presence the Holy Ghost had come upon him. He looked at the cripple and said, Look at us. My God, what a confidence. He said, Look at us. What is this man carrying that is just a crippled man? I don't have, I'm not in the category of those who have the anointing for silver and gold. I'm not in the category, not have a spiritual gift that I can use. I'm not the millionaire kind. I'm not the kind of, but I'm the kind that can cost you, that can raise you up. He said, Look at us, they carry something. Oh, can the music, can the padding come up a bit? Yeah, can the world look at you? Can your family look at you? Peter said, Look at us, look at us. Somebody comes you with a problem. Can you look at the person and say, Take time, look at me. That is a career of a divine agenda. That is somebody who is carrying an agenda. Who has encountered the heaviness. That guy has been in church all his life. Never went into the temple. He has not even been to the inner court. He has not been to the outer court. He was at the gate. At the gate. At the gate. Somebody will look at you. Somebody will look at you. Somebody will look at you and say, Aya! My life got changed because I looked at you. You have that gift, yes, you have it. You can sing, it's true. But who has been blessed? You can cook. But who has been blessed? That's your singing minister to kings. That's your office minister to great people. A man's gift will present him before great men. The sign of the greatness of your gifts is when mighty people desire your gifts. The Gentiles will only come to your light, your gift. My kings will come to your rising when the gift starts rising. Yes, because you can give two, three prophecies, prophet. Which prophecy has changed a nation? Because when you are called to come and prophesy.
prophesy. You know that when I come, I can say something. Have you gone on your knees to God in prayer? That God, what can change my generation? Operating word of knowledge and word of wisdom is common. We take you for granted here. I can preach. Everybody says I can preach. Everybody says, but yes, the career, the one that will carry that gift is the Holy Spirit. Be brought and paid. People are paid. For how long they spend with their boss. Ah. People's salary is determined by how long they spend with their boss. How long they spend with their vision. You will never be paid by God when you don't spend time with him and his purpose for your life. Nobody pays salary. For you being connected to somebody else. Nobody pays salary. Because you are doing your own will. God will not pay you. When you've not spent time with him. You need prayer. You pray. Who has a prayer changed? The gift is there. The gift is there. We don't deny it. You have it. The gift and the callings are irrevocable. They are irreversible. Give me that scripture. The gift is there. They will be there forever. But hold on. You play instrument. You play drums. You play keyboard. Who has been changed? Because you sat behind the keyboard for three hours. Give me the N NLT for this, please. Yes, God keeps and his call can never be withdrawn. He still called you. No matter your sin, he has still called you. No matter your fault, he has still called you. As for the gift, you have it. Oh. So we are boasting about gifts. You can prophesy, so you can heal, so can people come to a service and say this brother for touching the strings. It's not enough to have the gift to when people can look at you. Let the rain of your glory fall on us. When people cannot look at you, Peter was bold. He said, Look at us. It comes in the throne room. This level comes by people who have spent time alone with God. The Holies of Holies is not a place for two people. That is why right from the beginning, only one high priest could go there. Once a year, at least. At least. Pharaoh said, you can't go too far. Only upon prior five minutes, 
Yeja was Ruji went to Wahinimra. Are you okay? Don't go too far. You don't need those people. You don't need those tongues. Just be a normal Christian. Be normal. Jesus God's gift to us Jesus God's gift to us Jesus God's gift to mankind On earth, entered the outer court, inner court, the holies of holies, and when he died, the veil was torn. Your veil must tear, your veil must tear the veil that has limited your ministry, your calling, your calling to be statutory, to be positioned in one location can only break, can only break, can only break. That veil can be torn, but it can be only be torn after Gethsemane. Many still have their veil covering them. Our ministries are not traveling, our ministries are not going anywhere, our ministries are not selling. Why? There's a veil. That veil can never be torn until you submit to the will. Until you submit to his will. Until you submit to his will. Until you are submitted to his will. So you are submitted to his will. Your veil, the veil is there. It hinders people from assessing you. It hinders people from getting closer. The gift is there. The calling is there. We don't deny it. He has called you. He has called me. We have the gift. Oh. Let the gifts be stirred. It is without regret. Kato Saka Padam Pani Bikiti. Ray Sapan Tari Bikiti Bata. Your veil must tear this morning. That veil must tear this morning. That veil, that veil, that veil, that veil that makes you stay in one place. Nobody is recognizing you. You are beautiful, yes, but who has recognized you? The ugly have been recognized. The uneducated has been recognized. But with all your education, with all your status quo, there is a veil. There is a veil. Yes. Your red sea will not open for you to pass out of captivity. If it's your wilderness, why don't go too far? You will never see the potency of your gift, the rod you are holding, until you get out of Egypt. The greatest of miracles will happen outside the confines of Egypt. <laughs> For your name is holy. Holy is the Lord. 
for your name is holy. Ah, ah, ah. Holy is the Lord. That business. That company. That entity must break the three hour margin prayer. Then the ideas of Jehovah that breaks generational cases will start enveloping, developing as a written in your spirit, man. Currently, you are operating by the same principles that limited your generation. You are operating by the same thing at this did, and they could not survive the currents. Oh. What they did is what you are doing, but the Holy Ghost will come upon you on one condition. On one condition, angels will come and feed you. On one condition, you will tarry. We wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. We wait on you. We wait on you. When you go to the doctor's office and they tell you that this is the doctor that has a solution to your problem, you sit down and wait at the reception. It is one hour you are still waiting because you know two hours you are still waiting because you know three four hours you are still waiting and then this doctor comes and looks at you and says this is the medicine you need you take it and your life is solved you know why because it is better you wait to get the solution than to roam all your life and not get what you need it's meant to sit by your instruments and pray, pray follow through, follow through follow through hold it and hold it protocol barristers everything you do, pastors everything you do for the Lord you are soaking it in the blood. You said we must go beyond media. It must go beyond a gift. The barrier must break. The barrier must break. The veil. The veil must be torn in two. That veil that says stay here. Don't go anywhere. Just be here. Let us people clap for you. Peter and James will clap for you. Yes. They will clap for you. Jesus. Bayale, Koku, Nana, Esi. Hey, they will not know you. You will be limited. Nigerians, Africans, Asians, Americans will not know you. You will be one of the history makers. That is limited. There is no celebrated Jew like Jesus. Kubo kabonta kata kata bad. Rimini kata bidu kubo pekete. Let me feel you play, play, play. You ready? Oh, Shansa Yoski. Kados. You are mighty on your throne. You read. Oh, Shenza, your skin. Kadosh. Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Kadosh is holy. You read. You are Shenza, your skin. Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. 
Kadosh, 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 Secret place 
I can be with you. You can make me like you. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. You take it, but take it, but it, but don't take it. Hey, wrap me in your hands. That's where you meet him. That's where you encounter him. Wrap me in your hands. One encounter that Paul had. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Ah! Take me to that place. To that secret place. Where I can be with you. You can make me like you. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Take me there. Take me to that place, Lord. To that secret place. I can be with you. Then you can make me like you. Wrap me, wrap me, wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Take me to that place. There's a place called Secret Place. There's a place called Secret Place. Where me and you, we can meet, Lord. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. Wrap me in your hands. You are putting over everything. Over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. Let's brood over. You are brooding. Keep praying. Don't mind me. You are causing light to shine of darkness. You are brooding. You are brooding.
and every day I grow to love you more come Holy Spirit fall on us now we need your anointing come with your power I love you Holy Spirit you captivate my soul and every day I grow to love you more I'm reaching for your heart you hold my life in your hands drawing me closer to you I feel your power in you nothing compares to this place where I may see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth I'm reaching for your heart you hold my life in your hands draw with me closer to you I feel your power renew nothing compares to this place where I may I want to see you face to face face to face face to face face to face so I'm reaching for your heart I want your heart I want your heart Lord oh how long has it been since you talk to Jesus how long since you seen his face it's a long time his love get to him and his love get to feel you at rest in his hands at last Peter said something to you, right? Things people say seem to turn you away. Since no one's real and they don't mean what they say. Ooh, 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 ooh. For you, there are times like that. No hope, no trust, no love in your heart, only fear when your healing is me. Don't allow this, don't let pride prevent you today. To receive the touch that will change your life. Ooh. I want 
it, Lord. Move! Move in this place! Move in my heart! Move in my house! Move, Lord! Na 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 Oh! Another 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 Lord Another Lord Another Another encounter I need another I've been touched by men. I've been spoken to by men. I want you to speak to me, Lord, this time. I want you to touch me, Lord, this time. I need yes, another. Another, 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 I wish we can go on and on but that is all time would allow us Uh, talk to him touch touch Jesus Jesus Jesus, 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 If your gift has not made room for you, if your gift has not supplied your needs, if your gift has not made you who you are, that gift has not been to the throne room, it's still yours. If that gift can't go through Gethsemane,
where the flesh dies where you move from this place called time into eternity that gift will be something you carry that will not bless anybody told me yesterday night and what we are practicing here yesterday I practiced with my family for about one hour I will never take you anywhere until I've incubated what I gave you that's what he told me that egg will never become a chicken until it has gone through incubation process where you allow him to brood on you for days, for hours. It is an ordinary fragile egg. You are an ordinary life about to be crushed. I'm talking to somebody here. If you don't present that egg on the altar, why you are not hungry for more you are full of yourself you are so full of you you are full of you We have closed. You can keep praying if you want to. You can drop your offering on the altar. But we will still go on to... We have closed the service. We are coming here at 4 o'clock for Feast of Miracle. Drop your seed, your offering, everything. At this stage, I don't want to talk about anything that will take away their presence. But we are still in this atmosphere. If you still want to pray, more, keep praying. But you can lower your offering down. You'll sit down and then you can go home. We have closed. The first service has ended. But your spirit is still carrying on. We are coming here 4 p.m. in the main auditorium for the Feast of Miracles. If you feel like praying on, don't let anybody stop you. Because this engine that has sparked, this engine that has sparked, maybe you need to start that battery for some time before you leave. Because your battery was dying. Oh, 
Woman, stand here for me. God has done it for you. Lift up your hands for me. Mount Sasu, my wife. Naka to any mommy. Give it to her. Take it! I see children moving up and down your home. Take it! Don't let anybody stop you. Since people say it seems to turn you away, that's the song. For your presence. Oh, I pass the gates of praise into your sanctuary to be standing face to face I gaze upon your countenance. I see the fullness of your grace. I can only bow down and say, as I come into your presence, I pass the gates of praise into your sanctuary. Till I'm standing face to face I look upon your countenance I see the fullness of your grace I can only bow down And say You are awesome in this place Mighty God, you are awesome in this place. Abba Father, ah, you are worthy of my praise. Abba Rose, do you alive? You reign. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God, and I, I, I am desperate for you. Do, 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 do. Lost without you. Oh, and I and I 
and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and I and my children, Lord. And I and I we are lost, Lord. We are lost, Lord. So we desperate for you. We are 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 desperate for you. Without you, we are nobody. We are nobody. We are nobody. We are nothing. We are nothing. We are nothing, Lord. We are nothing but dust. Who is man that thou art mindful of us, or the son of man that thou visited him? Who is my house, Lord? I'm lost, Lord. 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 I'm desperate, Lord. I'm desperate, Lord. I'm hungry, Lord. I'm hungry, Lord. I'm hungry, Lord. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, Lord. I'm hungry, Lord. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, Lord. Satisfy this hunger. Satisfy this hunger, Lord. Satisfy this hunger. Satisfy this hunger. Satisfy this hunger. Satisfy this hunger. I'm hungry, Lord. I'm thirsty, Lord. No one can satisfy me, Lord. Oh, let me bless for everybody. I'm hungry, Lord. 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 Cultivate my heart. Cultivate this heart, Lord. Make it your own. I'm hungry, Lord. Desperate, Lord. Desperate, Lord. Desperate, Lord. Desperate, Lord. Desperate, Lord. Desperate, Lord. 
breathe loud, breathe loud, breathe loud, breathe loud, breathe loud, breathe loud. Without your breath in man, what can we do? You go to the back not what people say are enemies. Not what Peter is insinuating. Not what Eve is telling me. The Mayadia. The Mayadia. The Mayadia. The Mayadia. The Mayadia. I'll do what you want me to do. No, 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 no,